Hello guys, I hope you are doing good. Today we are going to solve this interesting question that has been asked in Google front end interview at the London location for L4 or L5 level. So this question uh, I've seen on the lead code that it has been asked multiple times. So if you can see what we are basically asked is we have to create a function that will retry a failing promise for the given count of time. If you see in this question, all this question has been asked to this user also so he has posted that he has been asked to do the same in the phone screen round to implement a api retry with javascript promises so let's see how we can implement this i will not be implementing this question as it is because it uses the uh, traditional callback approach rather we will be creating uh, actual promises and we will see what happens so we'll create this retry function for those promises and see what happens when those promise fail or pass. So if those promise fail, we will retry them for the given count. And if they pass, so we'll return the passed value. So let's start implementing this. To create this retry function, the first thing I'll do is I'll create the test function that will return a new promise and that promise will either reject or resolve based on the count of time it has been invoked so we'll be using it for our test purpose so let's create this test promise and here what i'll do is i'll declare a variable that will track how many times this promise has been called inside that i'll return a new function and in this new function i'll create a new promise and i'll return that so this promise will either resolve or reject now based on when this promise is invoked right we'll increase the count and we'll say that if the count is less than or equal to 5 so if this api or if this function is called less than 5 times it will always reject so reject i am failed api otherwise it will resolve and success full okay so if we call this test promise function it will return a promise every time so it will return a function that function will return a promise and let's say this promise is invoked for six times so on the sixth count it will return resolve and on all the previous five times it will always reject so using this we can test our retry function so let's start implementing the retry function we'll see both the implementations of retry using the standard then catch and then using the async await as well so let me implement the retry function our retry function will take this test promise as an input based on which we'll do our evaluation it will take the retries count of retries it has to do and then a final error so final error basically to show that uh, we had retried multiple times and we are rejecting with this final error so this retry function will also return a promise because we are making use of the promise so it's best to return a promise from that so return new promise and that promise will either resolve or reject now inside this what we'll do is we'll invoke our input function now there is only two outcome for the input function it will either pass or fail so it will either resolve or reject so let's say we attach the then block to that now then block if you are not aware it accepts two callback functions so one for the resolve and one for the reject explicitly many people what do is what they do is they use then for the resolve and then catch for the reject case but i like to use the then only for both the cases so the first case is resolve and the second is reject now when our promise is resolved successfully we have to do nothing what we'll do is we resolve this new promise as it is with the same value so i am passing the resolve function that we are getting over here to this and this will accept the value and resolve it we don't we don't have to do anything over there for the reject case we will test if count 
is 1 so we have exhausted all the counts and still the api has not passed so what we'll do is we reject with the final error there is no more retries left so we are rejecting with the final error otherwise we call the same function retry and here we call the same function we reduce the retries by one and we pass the final error now this retry function if you see right it is also returning a promise so because the retry is returning a promise we are recursive calling the same function so it is also returning a promise that means we have to handle that so based on whatever value this promise returns right we just pass this resolve and reject and depending upon the case if this promise resolves or reject the previous promise will resolve or reject so that's why i'm passing this function here only directly and reject to this so that's it that's the simple implementation if you are wondering why we have kept the count as phi that's because our count starts from phi right let's say for the first phi calls this api will fail so we call it for phi 4 3 2 and 1 so these are phi calls if we call it for sixth time then it will pass so this will be six calls so that's why i have kept the count as one now let's try and test this so let me invoke this retry function and this retry function will return a promise and let's say for the resolve case i'll print the value and for the reject case i will console error the error or whatever value we are getting in the reject method and to this retry we'll pass the input function so let's get the test promise because test promise returns a new function so we will invoke this this will return a new function and that will be passed to the input as a input we will say we will try it five times so for the five times it will always fail let's see what happens and then a final error so this final error will be returned when we are not able to successfully retry the api calls so i am a failure so that's it let's try to run this Nothing is happening. Count is not defined. Sorry, my bad. I think I have okay. So it retries, it's not a count. I think we should get I am a failure. So yeah. If you see when I invoke this for the five times, it this promise is always rejecting. So I am getting I am a failure. If I invoke this for six times, I should get I am successful. So let's try to do that. I am invoking this for the 6 tries and if I run this, so I am getting, I am successful. So I think we have implemented this. Let's try to see how we can implement this with the async await as well. So let me comment this. I will just mimic the same function with the async await. There is no rocket science in that. So const retry, this will be a asynchronous function it will accept the function retries and the final error and here we will wrap everything in try catch and to this here i will say response and await the function call whatever function is returning and then return the response so if you are aware retry or a async function always returns a promise so this will return a promise and then that promise will be handled and when we return this response value so it will be passed to the resolve case and when we go to the catch block and we do the same we check if the count equals to one so we have to reject so basically we will do promise dot reject and final error this will reject 
otherwise we have to call the same function recursively so i call the same function recursively with the same input function with one less retries and the final error so i have commented the above block now we have implemented a try catch or the async one so let's see if it is working fine or not let me run this there is an error i think that was it if count equals to one sorry again same mistake so it should be retries let me run this i am getting i am successful let me clear this let me run this again so we are getting i am successful if i run this less than five times or equal to five times it should fail so we are getting i am failure let me if i run this for four times then two we should get i am a failure so that's it that's how you can implement a retry there is another follow up for this question i have seen so what they basically do is they ask you to do the retries at a interval so we have to accept a delay let's say we accept the retry function accepts a delay of 100 millisecond and then it will perform the retry after 100 millisecond so it's uh, i'm leaving it up to you to implement this if you are not able to implement you can follow my article so it's here and here you can see how you can implement the same functionality with the delay so thank you for your time